What's going on guys, David Fala here. Welcome to my channel and today we're going to talk about consultation and how to know what the client wants. So one of the most important things I think I learned uh, while attending barber school was uh, the importance of consultation and kind of asking the right questions and understanding what the client wants, right? Before barber school, I was already cutting hair and I have no idea, like, I mean, I always had like really good people skills, I guess, so for me, it wasn't as bad as uh, as other people, but you know, like I try to understand people, try to pay attention to what they wanted, and I always have my mind that the client's always right. Even when they're wrong, they're always right because at the end of the day, we are in a service uh, industry we are here to serve others right and to help others so uh, when a client is not happy it doesn't matter how crazy your fate was or how amazing your sheer work is it doesn't matter if the client is not happy we you know we fell before we started right it's because uh, at the end of the day we have to make sure the client is happy a happy client will always come back and will bring others with them so uh, you know, I always want to remember that and that's something that has helped me uh, during my whole career But then after barber school after I started, I started teaching class and started going to schools and I started to go to other events and things like that I understood the importance of uh, the consultation uh, Having those minutes at the beginning where you can actually at the beginning when you can actually speak to the client listen to the client ask some questions so you can know exactly what the client wants and what they don't want, right? Because clients most likely, sometimes they don't tell you what they want, sometimes they tell you what they don't want. So like that you can figure out kind of what haircut to give them. So I'm gonna give you guys some tips that I use every single day that help me uh, to keep clients happy and keep them coming back and give me referrals to uh, their friends or, or people that they know. So the first tip that I have for all of you uh, will be to ask for a picture. I know it sounds kind of like, you know, like, come on, really, David? But it's true, my guys, ask for a picture. You know what? We all carry our cell phones now. We all have Instagram. We all have Facebook. A lot of us have Pinterest or we definitely have Google where we can Google haircuts and find, you know, find images of cool haircuts that we kind of like. It doesn't mean that it's gonna that those haircuts are gonna look good on us because sometimes you know and I'm pretty sure all of you that cut hair you guys uh, have been part of something like this where a client comes in with a haircut of uh, I don't know Cristiano Ronaldo and they want the, the hair to the side with the part and all this right and they want to look like Cristiano Ronaldo but unfortunately they they don't look like Cristiano Ronaldo so you know obviously it doesn't always work but sometimes you know like if a client wants something like that then you can explain to the client look your hair it's not exactly like his uh, you know your you know face doesn't look like that either I can give you something similar that will look better on you and I will go with your fa face shape and all that stuff you know and then the clients will understand and be like okay yeah my hair is not like that you know but like, I can you know something similar it will work right but at least you have an idea of, with the picture you have an idea of what the client wants like that you will be able to give them uh, a better a better service and a better haircut right because at the end of the day remember guys we are here to serve clients right we uh clients are not doing us a favor by coming and sitting in a chair right that's not how it works i know some barbers believe they're like i don't know god and then you know they're doing a favor to the community because they cut hair but not really guys like you know just like you you think you're so good so good there's other a thousand barbers there's just as good or even better than you right so at the end of the day if you want to attract clients and be busy every day you have to uh, focus on what matters and that's customer service and making your clients happy that's the most important thing not likes not followers not none of that just having your clientele happy if you are a barber that's the most important thing right anything else is, is after and it adds to it and you know all that stuff but the most important thing is that make sure you are a busy barber every day and that you client you have a clientele that your clients uh, you know love you and that will follow you anywhere and that you have built those relationships with them because at the end of the day that's what matters right so my first tip is always ask for a picture um, ask the client if they have a picture of what they want show them pictures of what you think will look good on them based on their face shape and the type of hair that they have and then like that you guys can see like you and the client can realize okay look this is this this looks good I kind of like it it goes with what I do it goes with my job it goes with my lifestyle you know all those things are variables that are very important but you know they are things that will make you a better barber because you are uh, you're not just giving a haircut you're offering a service right and at the end of the day remember guys it's a service industry 
the second tip that I have for all of you uh, will be to ask the right questions, right? Um, ask the questions, for example, like, how short do you want the sides, right? Uh, a lot of people, a lot of barbers, I noticed that when they ask, like, what do you want the sides, the one or two? You know, they expect the, the client to know what a number one or a two is, right? At the end of the day, that's not their clients, uh, you know, they don't have to know that stuff. We need to know that stuff. We are the professionals, right? We should tell the client, uh, you know what, like based on what you're telling me, I'm gonna use a number three, right? Uh, the clients don't know that, right? The clients just ask, okay, what do you do on the side? They can do a two, but you know, my two might be different than the guy next door's number two. So, you know guys, like, don't ask the client, okay, uh, what number you want the size? Just tell the client to explain to you what they want, right? For example, one of the questions I ask every, pretty much every single client is, how short do you want the size? Do you want to see some skin or you want to keep the size a little bit darker, right? They're going to be telling me, okay, I want to see a little bit of skin. I was okay, you wanna see a little bit of skin, you wanna see a lot of skin, or, or use a little bit lighter, so you can kinda of see a little bit more of the, of the face. Some might tell me, no, I wanna see some skin, I want it to last a little bit longer. Some tell me, you know what, no, I wanna, I want it a little bit lighter, but I don't wanna see too much skin, right? So at that point, then I look at the hair. What color is the hair, right? What texture is the hair? This is, is it thick hair? Is it blonde hair? Because remember guys, blonde hair, it's tend to be lighter, even though uh, blonde hair tends to be like more dense, uh, it still is lighter. So uh, number two and blonde hair might not be the same, it might not look the same as a guy with, uh, with dark hair. Right, so those are the things that you gotta keep in mind. So if a client with has like you know, you can tell that you know they keep it, you know, longer on the sides, you know, and then they tell you a guy comes in and tells you, oh, I want number two on the sides, right? And you look at the hair, and you ask him, when was the last time you got a hair? Cause oh, I got it like two weeks ago. You're like, oh well, it makes no sense, right? Like that makes no sense if they have like longer hair, but then they want a number two. You know that number two is gonna look like a probably like a number one or a one and a half on their hair. If they just got a haircut two weeks ago. It makes no sense, right? So sometimes what happens is the clients go on Instagram or Facebook or Google, or whatever, and they and they Google haircuts, right? And they go read the comments, and somebody says, "Oh yeah, that looks like it's a number two on the side." You know, people that have no idea about what they're talking about. So the client sees that, they come to you, they tell you, "Okay, give me a number one," even though in reality they might want a number seven or number eight, right? Depending on what they're going for. They might not even want a number. They might want just one, uh, you know, something a little bit longer, right? So. That's for us to know as professionals, not for the client to know, right? All the tips that I can tell you is that if you keep on telling your clients exactly, exactly what you've given them, uh, it's easy for them to go somewhere else and, uh, and you know, tell the, the, the barber, look, I, I, went, I get this, I get this, and I get that, right? If you never tell your clients exactly what numbers you give them, you just know by understanding what they want, uh, those are clients that will stay with you for a reason that only you understand what they want, right? Uh, some people agree with me, some people might not agree with me with what I said, but I, you know, it's just the way that I, I feel like as a professional we should not, not tell clients, okay, number two or number one, because a number two might not look the same on everybody and it might confuse a few uh, clients. So that's just uh, another tip that I have for you guys. The next tip that I have for everybody is uh, what if, when it comes to the top, right? When it comes to the top, uh, I think uh, sometimes we get it wrong when we don't understand uh, what's uh, the shape, when we don't understand the silhouette of the haircut, when we don't understand what the hair wants to do once it's wet, once it's dry, you know, once we cut it, you know, if you don't understand these type of things, then um, you have to know how to ask the right questions to the client. So one of those questions will be, you know, clients will tell you, I just want it shorter, right? Obviously they're there to cut their hair shorter, right? But it's up to you to know how short they really want it, right? So you, what you gotta do, you gotta examine the, the, the head, you gotta see where the cowlicks are, you gotta see where, you know, what's the growth pattern of that hair. And then from there, there's a little, mosquito here uh, and then from there you have to like um, tell as the client do you want it to let's say that the client wants like a comb over right they want to uh, come to the side so you gotta ask the client do you want it to spike up a little bit Oop. I think I killed it uh, do you want to spike it up a little bit or uh, do you want it to stay down and not spike up right so the client because the client is always gonna tell you I want it shorter right but shorter might be too short that they cannot do anything about it after, right? It's, it's gonna spike up even when they don't want it, especially in those areas where the growth pattern is in the, you know, different directions. So uh, I always ask the clients, like, look, uh, I'm gonna cut it a little bit uh, because you want it to stay down, you don't want it to spike up. And then when I'm done, you, you can ask me, you know, I'm gonna ask you, you're gonna let me know 
how uh, how it is if you want it shorter then we'll see we go from there right so I cut it you know making sure that those areas where I don't want it to spike up they stay a little bit longer I cut them in the direction where like how the hair and the growth pattern is and then I once I'm, I'm done with the top I ask the client like what do you think do you like it you know um, is it too long still whatever right the client tells me you know what? I wanted a little bit spiky so then if I see that the hair is starting to spike up then I tell the client look I can cut it a little bit shorter not a problem at all but uh, it's, it's gonna it's going to spike up right it's gonna need the length that it has right now and the weight to stay down if I cut it a little bit more it's gonna spike up are you okay with that some clients will tell you yes I'm fine no problem cut it a little bit more uh, some clients might tell you know what no leave, keep it there because I don't want it to spike up right that's the client's decision they're aware of it if they tell you that it's fine it's fine you know that's that's the problem at that point to say it like that right so that's another tip you know um, colleagues are very sometimes it could be difficult just because some clients want their hair to do certain things and the hair the hair doesn't want to do that right so uh, you get clients with haircuts that all they do is they fight with the hair right and the hair usually wins right like if you try and if the hair grows this way but you want to push it the other way it needs length so it cannot and weight so it can actually fall down because of gravity right but if it's too short it's going to spike up there's no way around that it's just going to happen and uh, if the client doesn't want to understand that then you gotta tell them you tell them you know why it's going to spike up there's nothing i can do right it's just the haircut that you pick or the haircut that you want might not be the best haircut for what you're trying to do with, the, with your hair but I'm still you know that is your is the client's decision right so what I do is I leave those um, those parts a little bit longer so they don't spike up and then usually my clients understand that why I say that now and and sometimes like you know they tell me no cut it it's okay cut it then I cut it and then I show them and then they tell me that damn David you were right I should have let that a little bit longer that's a lesson to be learned next time they come in they already know and they know that you know what the hell you're talking about so then they're gonna be uh, okay with whatever you suggest and the last point I want to uh, uh, talk to you guys about is to make sure that we understand as an industry that uh, unfortunately because of social media and because uh, photography and videography and lighting and, and understanding of all that stuff and Photoshop and you know that stuff the perception that we have of a haircut has changed a lot like a ton right uh, sometimes I see people on Instagram they post some beautiful work you know beautiful natural work that you took with the cell phone and they don't have the best lighting but you can tell it's top quality work it doesn't get the same response right sometimes people go ahead and post like these crazy haircuts they don't even look real like people like the face does, looks like you have makeup and like this the face doesn't even look like he has hair anymore and like the the the, the shape ups are like so color and on top of that photoshop that you like wow and those people are the ones that get recognized and people comment like people oh my god you're amazing like wow it looks like you know you're the god of barbary and this and that and my mom was like wow like crazy so it makes me realize that a lot of that people's percep perception of what a good haircut is has changed so much you know people believe that those photoshop haircuts are like how people are really walking around and that is not true guys that's not true so uh, the point i want to make with this is that um understand that sometimes like a haircut might not look the best to be posted on instagram but it will look great for because it's what the client wanted right uh, i have gotten clients that come to me for sometimes and they and they you know because they went to these famous barbers and celebrity barbers and they come back and complain about the, the whole experience right because the, the the client felt like the, you know the barber was giving them the, the haircut that they wanted because they wanted to take a picture and they wanted to do all this but it was not what the client wanted right so i remember this guy that came last week he uh, business guy he came in with like a like very short on the side with like a little design on the back right so he gets you know he sits down and then he says oh, look I want something a little classic uh, you know I'm a business guy I'm, I'm a lawyer so I want something like something a little more classic but modern right so I look around I look at his hand and I saw the design I was like, oh wow so I asked him oh do you want the same design or do you want something else he's like no I don't want that I don't I don't, I don't want that so I was okay okay so then I start, I start cutting him you know he had like a he, he had already grown like, it was probably like a number one and a half or so so I, I don't go too short with it I think I went with like a like a one if that uh, compared to what it has so then we start I start talking and I ask him you know like um, 
you, I asked him, you know, you seem kind of like a little uh, upset, you know, when I mentioned this. He's like, yeah, I went to this barber. He's like, a, you know, uh, one of those Instagram barbers that have all these followers. And I asked him to please give me like a modern haircut, but it was classy because of, you know, what I do is professional. So <laughs> the, the barber decided to give him a skin fit with, when the guy never asked for a skin fit, he actually used to use like a five on the size, I think. And then, uh, and then he did like a design and then he took a bunch of pictures and all this and put color and all that stuff. And then the client, uh, he went home very upset because he's like, you know what, now I have to go to work. Everybody's gonna when they look at me like weird because it's not what I wanted, right? Uh, he said the haircut was okay, but it not, it's not what he wanted. So, you know, the barber missed the most important part, which was called making the client happy, right? So when this client comes to me, you know, I try to like do what I could. We, you know, I pretty much to the, we kind of erase the design. You can still see a little bit, but I give him more like a classy, more classy haircut. The client was extremely happy with the experience. And then he said he was gonna uh, send me like, all he'd send me all his friends because he, he knows a lot of people and all that stuff, right? So uh, guys, remember that uh, not everything needs to be posted on social media. Some haircuts, they are great, but then just more classy haircuts, the ones that we do every single day, right guys? Like, I don't do like all these crazy designs every single day, all these crazy haircuts every single day, right? A lot of my clients get like a four or five on the sides, so that's all they get. You know, and uh, and uh, these are the haircuts that you know they pay the bills, right? Those are the people that pay the big money. Uh, you know, scissor haircuts, all that stuff. Nothing fancy, nothing with line, nothing with color, right? And uh, it's it's important to understand which clients are gonna ask you for that uh, Instagram uh, haircut, and which clients just want something that looks good. And that's it. That's all they care for. So. Uh, just I'll leave you guys with that. I hope this video was helpful. If you guys have more tips when it comes to consultation, please leave them in the comments below. I would love to to talk about them and like uh, on the comments and you know like for you guys to also share and all the tips that you guys have when it comes to consultation and how to make those clients happy so they come back and they bring their friends, right? Because that's the end of the day. Uh, that's that's how we build clientele, right? By referrals and by uh, the way I see is that every time we cut a client, that's like a, our banner, like right? poster for people to see them and be like, who, who, wow, who cut your hair, right? And then they bring their friends. So that's it, guys. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope it was useful. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like the video, and also don't forget to uh, share if you feel like somebody's gonna be uh, gonna benefit from this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.